What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, thank you so much for joining me once again, welcome back to Nancy Drew, Sal Midnight in Salem. Uh, right now, we just gotta get a key to the Hathorn house and get a LA for the book theft. Uh, talk to Judge for a second. Right. Thank you, Judge. Huh. Okay. Let me talk to you about that. Uh, Alicia? Yes. Mm, I don't want to tell you about any of this. See you later. Gather alibis. Last time we figured out that the break in at the courthouse was staged. Let's talk to you, mister. Hi, Nancy. What's going on? I hate you. I like you. All right. Uh, who else do we need to talk to? Uh, let's talk to Lauren real quick. Can I talk to her for a second? I just have a couple more things I wanted to ask you. There it is. Do you remember where you were three nights back? I was here. I told you already. I have the receipts to prove it, and I'm. Oop. Hold on one second. My. Oh, no, just a related incident. I don't suppose there are any ghosts. Sorry. <laughs> the spirits come and go as they please. I've seen them everywhere around Salem, but I've never seen one operate a point of sale. There we go. Better. Um. See you later. I, I finished that. I just need to get a key to the Hathorn house. Okay, let me adjust the settings again, because for some reason they're talking really quiet. Although I can't, I guess I can't turn it up any louder. All right, there we go. Hi, man. I well. Um. You don't feel conflicted knowing you were related to Tichuba and what the house represents? So I burn it down as revenge for a 300 year old wrong. That's your thinking. Tichuba seems as much an influence on you as growing up on the estate of the one who accused her. I imagine it's hard to resolve those feelings. Have you ever seen the Capitol building? Do you know who built that? I never tried to burn that down either. Mm. Meaning? It's not so simple to set things right. I see. Um. Everyone says there are ghosts in this town. Is that true? What is it? You know, I believe the dead stay dead. But I've seen ghosts recently in my own house. Really? Who? Wait, you believe me? I thought I was going crazy. I believe there's an explanation. Who was it? I don't know. A woman. Mm. Wearing old clothes like the kind you find in Tegan's museum. I couldn't see her face. And I swear she was real. I could hear her. I could feel her. She smelled like, like rotten fruit or something. You know that gray moldy smell that hits you in the back of your throat? Mm. Yeah, that. Huh. That's pretty specific, actually. More specific than anyone else I've talked to. I saw her in the Hathorn house. Watch out for her. She'll come to you. No doubt in my mind. She she has. See you later. Alright, we just need to get a key to the Hathorn house. I'm assuming I might get something as I'm leaving here. Hmm. Let's call Deirdre and see what's going on. What you up to? Hello, Deirdre? Help me! Deirdre! <laughs> I got you! Deirdre won! You Ugh, You're so gullible! It's not funny! Come on! Yes it is! You know what? I like it. Because now I know how much you care. I do. Of course I care, Deirdre. Despite your best efforts. That's fair. Well, anyway. I have some information for you. Frances Tuttle? What do you know about her? She's the former owner of Hathorn House. What? That's it? 
Well, I thought you were going to research. It all goes back to Francis Tuttle. Check it out. She took over the Hathorne House estate in 1992. Although I found three different marriage announcements in the Salem News, she was never married and never had any biological children. Huh. The only living heir now is Lauren, Lauren Holt. Holt. She met Francis Tuttle and was officially adopted in 2006. Hmm. The judge said there was a will. Lauren confirmed that. Exactly. But as far as I can tell, there is no will. Nothing was ever filed with the town clerk. I no see. lawyer has stepped forward with a copy. Frances was in her late 80s when she passed, and she had a stroke a few years earlier. Maybe she was confused. Are you saying you think that Lauren burned down her own house? Sounds bizarre, I know. But it's the most likely scenario. I see. But why? Because in Salem, a historic property is classified differently if it's a ruin versus being an intact structure. Without a will, a ruined property is preserved as is. So Lauren, Lauren could, could stay, stay there. there. Mm hmm Now, I don't think living in a charred out building is great for your health, but it's a theory. Okay. Hmm. See if you can find out anything else. I'll meet you back at the Perry house later. <coughs> okay. Bye, Nancy. You are such a butthead. You know that? Uh, let's see if I can get a key from anybody here. Can I get a key from Tegan? Nancy. Uh. Deirdre only mentioned it in passing, but you and Olivia used to be friends? We were, and I guess it doesn't hurt to mention that Lauren was a part of our little group as well. But that was years ago. So you don't get along now? Things changed. Did something happen? I don't see why this is relevant. Aren't you supposed to be clearing my sister's name? Yeah, I'll tie it together. more blame for things she didn't do. What did she get the blame for before? I... <sighs> this town wants someone to blame for everything. She's different and gets singled out. I want to know more about anyone who might have a motive for the fire. Maybe you can help if you know them, even as old friends. I guess. Go on. Do you think the fire is somehow related to Salem's history with witches? We're going to start mean? talking to everybody to see like, if we can get a key. Is it meant as a symbolic gesture? Because that's how most witches died? That was a European thing. No, they were more civilized in the New World. We hung our witches. Uh. Short drop, so they slowly choked to death. A couple more died in custody awaiting trial. And one, an elderly man who refused to testify, was pressed to death. Pressed? By yeah. a bunch of rocks. They put a bunch of heavy stones on top of you. Or Wasn't it the crucible that was a witch's thing? That's horrible. She did not know the weight until she felt the freedom. Scarlet Letter. Also a descendant of Judge Hathorne. Except Nathaniel Hawthorne was so horrified with his family's history that he added a W to change it. Wow. The focus on descendants isn't really something they teach you in school. Yep. We think our world is so much more advanced now, but we have a hard time escaping our past. How did Francis Tuttle come to own the property? Ms. Tuttle bought it 30 years ago cheap. It was falling apart. The former owners couldn't be located, so it was auctioned. She was a bit of a kooky lady living in a ruin like that, but she was kind. I mean, she took in Lauren like a daughter. That says something about someone, doesn't it? Yeah. I agree. What can you tell me about Olivia? What can I tell you about Olivia? I can tell you that I think her shtick is ridiculous. Damn. And that she's doing this town a disservice by selling this silly idea of broomsticks in this double, double toil and trouble version of witches. Damn. This is a place of real history, and she wants it to be a theme park. Do you think she would have burned down the Hathorne house? I suppose it would be good for business. People love a ruin. Especially a haunted ruin. She is Damn. pretty happy lighting fires. But I don't know. I only want my sister cleared. I know. We're getting there. You're getting there. I can't help but think about the rumor Olivia talks about. The coven. You shouldn't pay any attention to her stories. And she just says me. whatever she thinks the crowd wants. 
real history isn't interesting to Olivia. So you never heard this rumor elsewhere? I didn't say that. There are no witches in Salem. Just showy frauds and stupid kids doing stupid things. Don't trouble yourself with ancient history and rumors. There's a real kid in trouble who needs your help. Here's my thinking here. People are blaming May. Because May got it burned in her face. And I think these three girls, Lauren, Olivia, and Tegan, most likely were doing something as part of this coven. And May took the brunt of it and got set on fire. Which is why her face is burnt. And that's why no, none of them are friends. So that is my running theory right now. Do you have any more information about the Salem witch trials? Did the exhibitions manage to spark your interest? They did. I found this display showing the ancestry of the accused, but it didn't seem fully complete. I was wondering if you had more information stored here somewhere. Well, we do have the upper floor, which is also where I keep most of my accused witches stuff. Would it be okay for me to go up there? I'd really like getting a better picture of the history of Salem. Usually we don't allow people up on the second floor. It's restricted. But... Maybe just this once I can make an exception. You are here to help, after all. So if you think it would benefit you, feel free to go up there. Thank you. I'll open the door for you. It's actually really cool. The stairs are hidden behind a bookcase. Hold on. That's fucking sweet. All right. Can I go? Can can Oh, I have to go this way. Oh. Oh yeah, let's go. Go upstairs. Oh shit. All right. Let's explore this library. Anything of interest? Whoa, originals? These books must be hundreds of years old. No wonder they're restricted. I hope their information is still open to the public, at least. Yeah. Whoa, originals? Okay. Anything good? Any good reading material? Ha! Still in the prohibition. The AW sign is suspected to be created by bootleggers during the Prohibition. The criminals used the sign of the AW stating it was so for another way. Cleverly thinking those opposing strong drinks would believe the AW signs to be proclaiming meaning and meaning to choose another way or lifestyle. I honestly wonder if it has anything to do with AW root beer. Just putting that thought out there. While some believed it to be a good message to tune users to another way of life, it was reality only a cover. To smugglers and gangsters, the AW sign, the sign, the AW sign was code for another way out. The AW were carved in trees and were hidden markings used as a sign that marked the path that led the way to hidden tunnels underground so they could smuggle their goods out. Directional signs, according to the tales, also led to underground passages to smuggle the illegal goods to gangsters to gain wealth off of the illegal beverage. The bootlegger's old description, AW, marked the way to underground tunnels to help to transport beverages and goods under the nose of the law. Bootleggers. All right. Someone's a busy bee. Old court protocols, ancestry records. Tegan is really digging deep into the witch trials. Oh yeah. What do we got here? Alright, let's see what we got. Real evil was the accusers rather than those accused. Shouldn't be associated with the killings, the incident 
and the innocent in the Salem Witch Trials had a devastating impact on those associated with the accusers of the innocent who had blood on their hands. For the descendants, the shame was too great to endure. Many moved from the area to start new lives. Others changed their names. Famous author Nathaniel Hawthorne was a descendant. Author Nathaniel Hawthorne was born Nathaniel Hathorne, and he was the great-great-grandson of the ruthless judge ha John Hathorne, who has set many of the de to their deaths at the trials. The spelling of his name was changed to Hawthorne, in part to remove himself from the connection to his ancestor's shameful past. At one point, Nathaniel Hawthorne felt he was under a curse. He often wrote in about Salem and the shame and sadness he felt. In his book, The Scarlet Letter, he wrote of Judge Hathorne, so conspicuous by the martyrdom of the witches that their blood may merely be said to have left a stain upon him. Reverend Samuel Paris did not apologize. However, he did state in 1964 that I may have been mistaken. He was kicked out of the village, but his family remained. It was rumored in later years of being an ancestor that altered their name to Perry. The AW, a Kitsubikato organization, recognized the justice and passed by honoring, supporting the ancestors of the accused. Right in the wrongs of the past, we fight for justice, including all the family names. We educate through special lectures at AW meetings to remember the past and prevent witch hunts of the future. The AW uses the safe community to express our feelings for the lost relatives and to seek ways to honor the memories where those descendants of the accusers can seek forgiveness. Fires rising for the memorial for the lives lost in the global witch trial. Okay, stuff about the AW. Are you a descendant? Tony Wardwell? Excuse me for you, Woodland Bigger Jr. Sarah Good? Okay. Can I look at anything else here? Hmm. I see. I don't think there's anything else. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's see if... Nancy, hey! Okay. What can you tell me about Lauren? Well, Lauren think. is a piece of work. Olivia may pretend to be a witch, but Lauren thinks she's a witch, you know? They are as bad as each other. The real legacy and history of Salem is what's important, not over-the-top stories and... So, you don't go to her shop? I've never been in, but I've had the tea. My advice? Stay away from the Senna Leaf. Can ruin your whole day. Do you think she would burn down Hathorne House? I don't know. Maybe? If she thought it would help her stay on the grounds. She certainly doesn't want anyone else having it, even if there are historical and legal reasons. But, like I said, I don't really know her that well anymore. Hmm. Talk to you later. Adios. Uh, talk to Olivia. Anything going on? See you. Alright, let's try this way. Um, I'll see if there's anything else to talk to Lauren about, and then I'll just... You know what, I think I'll just head back to the Perrys, because I don't think there's anything going on. I don't think you can talk to anybody about anything else. Nothing important, anyway. I gotta get a key to the Hathorn house, but I also gotta see... Maybe I can pry a little bit more out of May. Oh, look at that! That's a sweet one. A leopard print lighter. Why here? A leopard print lighter. 
Okay. I'm feeling any better? Feeling any better about the case? Nope. We're going to find out who did this, May. I promise. You say so. I Luke, do. thanks for breakfast. I just want to say, I know you're trying to help, but I think you're wasting your time. You seen this light? Have ever seen this lighter before? Wow. I lost this days ago. Where'd you find it? Outside the front door. Are you always snooping around? A little bit. I have a knack for finding things that other people miss. Thanks. This means a lot to me. Talk to you later. Alright, I give her back the lighter. Can I see anything else? I need to figure out how to get into the Hathorn house. Hmm. Let's see. See if I can call the Hardys. Um. Let's call Frank. Nancy. Hey, how's it going? Find anything? Nothing. Aside from the weird looks from the woman who lives here, Lauren Holt, I think her name was. To be fair, it looks like we're drilling for oil with all this equipment. Whoa! Cold spot! Grab that EMP meter, Frank! Quickly! What? You mean this? It says EMF. Yeah, that one! This one? Oh this my one? god. This one? You're sure? Yes! Because I have these other devices here like ESP, or PSN, or NASA. Come on, Frank! Hurry! God, it's gone! We're going to have to be quicker to catch these paranormal phenomena. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Nancy, forgot to tell you. Okay. On the way into town, I spotted surveillance cameras on the outside of the courthouse. Try checking the footage. I'm sure they have cameras on the inside as well. Yeah, good catch. We'll let you know if we catch any phenomena. <laughs> Thanks. Talk soon. I wonder if I can... Let's see if I can go to sleep now, because I don't think I can... Cause I know I have to wait for the courthouse footage tomorrow. A good night's rest and too early for bed. Let's talk to Ned. See if Ned will give me a hint. Hello. Ned. Hey. You've reached the voicemail inbox of Ned Nickerson. I Ugh. pick up your phone, Ned. God damn it, Ned. I could really use a hint right now. Okay. All right, the only thing left is to get a key to the Hathorn house. Let's talk to Lauren and see what's going on. Wow. Hey, right, sorry about that. Let's talk to Lauren. You ever hear rumors about a coven in Salem? That's just something Olivia says to sell tour tickets. I didn't think you believed in that kind of witch. So you never heard a rumor? As a kid, maybe. What are you getting at? I found a photo of you three from when you were kids. She kept it? Do you remember where this photo was taken? Sure. Well, sort of. It was a shed somewhere close to the neighborhood the Perrys live in. We went there a few times. So, the three of you used to hang out. Well, that was long ago. We did dumb things. I wish we hadn't. As far as I know, there's no coven of wishes, though. See you later. Okay. I think the only other person we could talk to that has anything worth saying is Alicia Cole. Let's talk to the judge real fast. Can I? Right. Thank you, Jim. Huh. All right, let's talk to Alicia. Let's see what we got. And then we'll try yes. to find Frank and Joe. Fine, I'll talk. I just met Jason Danforth. <sighs> what did you think? Kind of cute, huh? Eh. Mm, not the adjective I would use. Different tastes. Yeah. 
I think he's kind of like a fast food cheeseburger with extra, extra cheese. <laughs> and I'm more of a home cooked meal kind of gal. What can I Damn. say? I love cheese. Calm down. So you know him well? I know him. He does odd jobs for me sometimes. Doesn't hurt that he's easy on the eyes. He is kind of dumb, though. A little bit. I wouldn't really know, to be honest. Listen, spare yourself the headache and just avoid him. Trust me, not much substance. He loves his car. That's all you really need to know. Do you know Lauren Holt? Owner of Luminous Infusions. Resident of the Hathorne Estate Carriage House. So do you know her? Absolutely. I represent her. I see. How's the case going? Well... That's a bit of a confidentiality issue. But you are the daughter of a lawyer. So, without a will, there is no case. No one has been able to find it. No. And without the will, the house goes to the state. The law is the law. I can try to get a delay. But we've already delayed twice, and the state doesn't care that someone lives there. That's insane. It's a tough world out there. I spoke with Lauren. She mentioned you have a key. A key? To the Hathorn house. It's the only copy. Don't lose it. Oh, and this really isn't supposed to be in your hands. If someone finds you with it, I might have to say you stole it. I'll make sure to be discreet. Thanks. Here to help, Nancy. Hey, next time, please knock before entering, okay? See you later. Alright, how do I... Can I knock? Well, now I have the ha key to the Hathorn house. When do we want it? What do we got? Search Hathorn house for clues. Don't mind if I do. I think it's going to be the last thing of this episode. Last thing of this episode will probably be to search the Hathorn house. Let's go. These snapdragons are lovely. At least some of them survived the fire. Snapdragons. Snapdragon suplex. No I'm kidding. Locked. Uh, not for long. The key should fit, but the door and lock are awry. The door needs more leverage. Now this is more like it. Let's try this again. There we go. Now it fits. Beautiful. Let's go on in. Let's see what we got. All right. This is going to be creepy here. I don't remember doing any of this. Oh God! So smoky Old in here. Secretary desk, roaring twenties maybe. Can I interact with anything here? The walls are still smoldering from the fire. It's making my eyes water. God damn. There's something peculiar about this mirror. Huh. Someone painted laurels on the mirror glass. But why? An old secretary dead. Oh shit. My dear Lauren, yes, you, you came to me in midwinter and made each day feel brightest. Like the lion I cared for, my new cub, even though sometimes she could be stubborn like an ox. In the month where the spring stirs, I revealed your heritage to you on a day of Samhain. We remembered our ancestors. Now I wish for you to choose. Make this house your home or be free of this burden. Forever yours, Tuttle. Francis Tuttle. This will, the will is in this house. A letter written in Francis Tuttle's own hand. Oh my god. 
The will is in this house. Alright, I'll go up in a second. I'll examine this room. So the will is in here somewhere. I don't like the creaking. <coughs> it's dusty. <coughs> it's Oh god. What Francis the? Tuttle needed this medical machine to stay alive. I wonder what will happen to it now. I'll probably like sell it or something. Oh wow. The entire second floor has burned down. It looks unstable. Not going any further than this. All right, well, the will is somewhere in here. Anything else in here that I can look at? The walls are Hmm. Let's see. Anything going on? Search the Hathor House for clues. I did though. looks hair raising even in the light of day certainly all right there has to be something else in here Hmm. I see. A brand new jacket? Who would leave this behind? Brand new jacket, huh? Oop. Francis Tuttle. Look at this jacket, it's insane. Inspect the jacket, okay. Oh, hello. A business card. Uh, uh, Olivia, Tegan, Tegan, what's going on? I was able to rule out some. You need to come here, quickly. Something's happened. What the hell? I'll be right there. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh my god. What happened? How did it come to this? Uh. Sorry, Ned. Come on, let's get inside. What in the... Who did that to the Perry's house? What happened? We're going to find out in the next video. Stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. See ya!